Hey guys, the Desert Artist here. I'm done. I finally finished it. I think I've uh, conquered all the angles and I've, I've got room to expand if I want to, but I think in order to preserve the, uh, the intensity of just uh, what it is, I think I shouldn't go any further. I don't, uh, I don't want to make it any more complex than it already is. But I wanted to show you kind of what I got here. Um, here you can see his, his face. Um, his eyes are, are totally posable. They can be moved in any direction. So he can look over here or he can look the other way depending on what he wants here. His hat is pretty much solid, uh, not going to go anywhere. Um, I added some, some fluff here on the sides to uh, decorate the end pieces. I was finally able to get a uh, a decent kind of like face on the other side you'll see in a minute um, everything here that uh, that you see is mo movable and poseable uh, his mustache and his mouth they're all pretty much one little piece there um, I put this in here because I didn't sure whether I wanted to use a use them as a, a square tongue or a like a bow tie for that chicken guy that wears the uh, Colonel Sanders, that guy. And so I finished up with a couple uh, little beads there on the end. Um, I got the little snake here. I, uh, I added uh, some things. He's got a leash right here. I got him leashed up. With a with a spring and some decorative wire there, um, so I didn't want him to, you know, end up getting. It can be taken off. He can be maneuvered and gone any kind of direction that he wants. Um, what I've got down here is I've he's got his uh, his ladle of noodles here. Um, Inside, you can see I got a couple little lizards that are that are in there. I had laying around a couple little sterling silver lizards, so I put those in there. A friend of mine, I got those from a from a friend of mine who he he probably cast these out of little dead lizards that came inside of his shop and ended up dying. And looks like they look like real lizards. They're probably ones that had uh, been mummified and uh, he took their mummified remains and made little little wax castings and cast them in silver. Um, over here he's got the uh, he's got a little pot of noodles here. As you can see inside here he's got some got some noodles in there ready to ready to cook. Uh, this I just have it on there just to keep it on there tight otherwise I lose all my noodles. There's nothing worse than losing your noodles. So over here I've got uh, I've got this little little thing here see now I can I can move this forward this operates the snake in the front here this operates the snake here in the front right and so he's able to maneuver back and forth depending on the leash whether it's attached or not but it's got a pretty good balance on it right now so it's kind of remains movable and it's, it's always an option to uh, be able to maneuver that and rotate it around to take off the leash and the spring. Um, as we look up over here, I added a pipe over here. 
I had this piece of copper wire that was just sticking out that I didn't know what to do with, so I was able to find I had a pipe laying around. I figured I'd just stick a pipe on there. Turns out okay. So we've got I found this little piece of copper here. Looks kind of like a like a Ronald McDonald mouth. So I used that for his mouth there, and I put a piece of I put a spring in there. It looks like a compression spring or something. I put a vacuum tube in for his nose with a with a copper uh, pipe attachment there. I put some goop in there from a windshield replacement goop. That uh, that black stuff that sticks to anything. I put it in there to hold it all together. These little round things here. These are from one of these those. Balinese tantric uh, mountain monk kind of guys. They flip them back and forth. It's got a little little drum in it. Or it's got a scroll in it. Some prayer mantra, something Buddha. I don't know. Whatever. So I used that there to uh, get his face, so he would uh, look like he was playing something. And I have the uh, the violin attached to um, kind of what looks like his arm. Um, if you look here in the back, he's got an arm here, and it's kind of playing it up next to his chin. Um, you can kind of see it here. I've got this guy on the end. You know, I kind of had trouble getting him getting him lined up, but he looks like he's singing. And he has a little mouth right here, and his nose, and his backwards mustache up here. He got his eyeballs with his, with his monocle, because, well, I didn't, couldn't find the other lens, and I don't know where it went. Got a couple forks here that are totally poseable, um, so, so he can he can be talking, I guess, if you do stop motion photography. You could make him talk and point and switch out forks with different tentacles or whatever. I got I got him up here playing the violin with his little fork hand. Um, violin is totally movable. Um, moves with the entire piece. The bow for the violin is right here. Um, I kind of uh, I got a fork right here. It's just kind of like a, a free floating fork. It's just tied up with, uh, I got some wires over here. You know, it, it, it might end up being something a little bit later. Who knows? Um, for right now, it's just a a floating fork that's controlled by his little energy waves, I guess. Um, the little dude down here, he's controlling all the all the fiddle playing, and he's got his hand over here on this thing. And uh, this moves up and down all around here. So this moves, and then this little guy over here moves. So I got everything that that moves, and I can I, this can be taken out. I got it uh, mounted down here onto a little screw, and it can be taken out. And this can be uh, totally moved around, as you can see. Um, totally different poseable positions. Um, Pop it back up and it slides back over the slides back over the, the screw there. Put it up towards the front. Little angle, barely makes it, and it leaves a good uh, like a good kickstand for it right there. Let's see. See, I showed you all this stuff.
So now we've gotten over to this side. Got some little flowers over here. Then I got this little dude down over here. This little guy right down here. Got his hands up here. And little Swarovski beads there that are on the flower arrangement. This is uh, crystal sleeves here. It goes with his uh, wire wrap crystal here. And then here's the other side of the guy. I got some more Swarovski beads up here got these here. I made some really fine copper wire right here for his for his uh, those last little wires. I uh, finagled some fine copper wire in there and ran it through the beads. Um, and uh, about it. Yeah. Comes full around and there you go. There's my uh, there's my art entry into uh, the VA show on assemblage. Uh, I might do metal work, but I really didn't do much metal work. It was just all assembly. Everything's been screwed and drilled. Nothing has been soldered or glued, with the exception of the little guy here with the uh, with the uh, the windshield stuff holding them together. And I put some of that windshield stuff up here on this little nose right here. That that's about it. That's the only stuff that I use. Got a little light meter right here because uh, he's got a bunch of camera lenses, so he does photography and uh, takes pictures of people while giving them soup on the side of the road. Uh, so there you go. That's my snake-friendly uh, soup serving buddy pal mine here I'm gonna call him Tommy Strad because the uh, it's a Stradivarius violin here